Hey there, thanks for tuning in to yet another plan with me. One of my favorite parts of the week. Um, I have a little friend who's trying to join here. Um, she thinks this is a nice place to be, a little pixie. Um, let me get her out of the way, she's settling down. Okay, let's see if she'll sit with me. She seems very sleepy right now, so maybe she'll sit with me for a second. So she hasn't moved yet. Um, okay, so plan with me, this is the week that it is currently, or last week, for when you all are seeing this. And today is Friday the 22nd, my day I always do my plan with me's, or even before I did plan with me's, the day I worked on my planner. Um, this week has actually been fairly busy. I got a lot done um, on my new releases. I'm still not where I would like to be really with them. Like I still, I'm like a little bit stressed out because I'm also like going out of town this weekend. So I do wish I actually had more done on them because I did design some the past couple days, but I still have things that I'm for sure releasing on um, a week from today or, you know, the end of the week when you're seeing this. Um, yeah, things I'm for sure releasing that aren't done yet. Like I haven't even finished designing, let alone like putting in the silhouette and doing all the cut lines and all that, which is fine. Just, I'm like a little bit stressed about it, but it'll all work out. Um, I've been further behind before, so it's, it's all good. Um, I've really enjoyed this kit and um, it was a little bit difficult to pick a kit to use for the last week of July because I have so many summer kits and I have a ton that I want to use in August. And so I went through all of my kits thinking um, what would be the perfect kit for the last week of July. And that's kind of something I really enjoy about having a large collection of kits. Um, it's like really easy to find like a great kit to use or great spread every time. And see, Pixie's just not leaving my lap. That's like longer than she usually sits with me. Um, when she kind of gets settled, oh, she's trying to play with my pins I've set out over here. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and um, I'll show you which kit I've decided was perfect for the end of July. Um, and again, that's something I really enjoy, like flipping through and finding just the right kit to use um, for a certain week watermelons right like that's so july um this is a magnolia boulevard kit i love her kits um but they don't come with like all the bells and whistles that um some of the other kits do like nicole lexi designs or scribble prints co or um some of the other ones you see me use a lot uh plus this one is from several months ago it was either um out in the spring or very beginning of summer i'm um, thinking about this in like may or maybe even before that i don't really remember but it's been months since i bought this so you know, kids are just kind of more, um, have more to them now, but um, it's still a really great kit. It's on that um, great uh, premium matte paper that I love. These are obviously the full boxes. And then the ombre heart checklists, headers, little things, washi, along with this great watermelon bottom washi. And half boxes, um, the weekend banner, um, and all this business here, all the flags and teardrops and these little dots. So yeah, that's that's the whole kit. So see, it is a pretty small kit, but um, I absolutely think we can make it work, especially now that I have like all my sidebar stickers that I can pull into, my um, Planner Kate sidebars. I know that we'll be able to put this together. Like I feel really confident that this is going to turn out really cute and very summery. Oh, and I ran out of wine, so I have a Sprite today. It's not quite the same as it, or Sprite Zero. Sorry, it's like, I've been really liking Sprite Zero lately. It's been a fave. Let's see, I'll start by doing the bottom washi. That just seems, seems like a good place to start. And I'll try to talk through this because I really liked doing that last week. I don't think I've gotten any comments yet. Um, people saying they liked or did not like it. Um, I don't, yeah, I, I don't get a lot of comments, which is fine. Um, so, But it's kind of hard. It makes it a little bit hard to tell like, what you guys are enjoying. Cause I know a few of you watch my videos. Um, so it would be kind of nice to know like what you like, what you'd like to see more of. That would be super helpful. Um, Cause I've done YouTube before, but never like planner videos. It was always like face-to-face -face videos. So it's just different. But anyways, I hope you guys like the, I, I liked editing and liked kind of watching um, the more talky ones rather than like sped through ones. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. Um, so I don't have a ton to talk about this week, but, um, you know, I was on jury duty for the past couple weeks and, 
Um, this last week was my first week back to normal work. So it's nice to get back into my regular routine. Let's see, I think I'll just do um, the ombre heart checklist next. I liked doing that first last time. It kind of helped spread out the colors a little bit more. Um, yeah, I know just how I'm gonna do these. So yeah, it was really nice to get back into just like my regular routine and everything. It was kind of like I had a lot to catch up on like with work and stuff, um, but it was okay. It, it all worked out. So it was kind of a busy week, but not bad at all. Um, yeah, that's what I wanna do. So, and I'm just gonna warn you, you're gonna see like a lot of appointments and stuff coming up. And I just, I tend to do that. I tend to like make a lot of like doctor's appointments and stuff at once. Nothing's wrong. I don't want you guys to like be like, um, you've had three doctor's appointments in the past month. Um, like I, you might have seen I had labs today, um, which were scheduled like um, Wednesday. So um, that's why, like, it's so funny because like every day it's either like nothing going on or there's like so much going on I can't fit it all on the day. It's like feast or famine, it's really funny. Um, but that's the way it is in like every aspect of life, I feel like. Like with work, I either have like, like I'm either, you know, helping out other people because I don't have a ton to do, or um, I have like way too much to do. Like I very rarely have just like a normal amount of things to do. So, but yeah, I just tend to make all my doctor's appointments at once. And um, like I had a lot that were coming up to, like it was time for. But with jury duty, I didn't know how long that was going to take. Like, I didn't know which days was, I was going to be there and which days I wasn't. Also, I didn't know, like, if I was going to get stuck on a trial that was super long and went over the two weeks, um, which fortunately I didn't. But, you know, that's that's happen that happens all the time. So um, I didn't want to make any appointments for this week right after jury duty just for that reason, just because I didn't know for sure if I was going to be done or not and that is looking so cute yeah that's looking so cute I'm loving I think this is gonna be again just a perfect summary spread just what I wanted okay I think I'll do full boxes next um let's see I think I'll do this watermelon up here um this one would be cool too but that would be easier to cover up so like it's not like that's just like one design where if I cover up part of it it might look funny so um, I'll just go ahead and put that down there. I won't do the whole sidebar right now, but we will do that. Okay. That's cute. Yeah, like that. Um, okay, so how do I want to do these? So I'll do the two like green ones on the end for sure. Um, I'm, I'm gonna sort of try to match, but especially with the pinks, it doesn't matter a lot. Well, they're not even really pinks, they're like corally, I mean, you know, watermelon colors, so. Okay, yeah, uh, green glitter is gonna go on Monday. And then the other one, the like watermelon rind sort of pattern is gonna go on Sunday. So yeah, if this gets covered up, um, that will be totally fine, or part of it gets covered up. And so then we're going to have to do um, the watermelon, just like watermelon color with seeds on Saturday. My weekend's just gonna have to be a whole watermelon there. Let's see if we can get that a little bit better. And these um, Viber, Viber Matt, premium bat stickers aren't um, considered like removable, but usually if you get them quick enough, then they're fine to remove. Um, maybe I will put this really light one in the center. Should I do that? Or should I do that? Maybe, maybe I'll do that like Wednesday because then I'd have the seeds on separate pages. Um, or should I come back to that? You know, I think I'm going to do this one on Friday because I usually put a lot down on Friday. So we'll do that. I don't like it when there's like one that's different like that. Um, like I get the idea. I, I totally get what she was going for, but... Not my fave. Is that crooked? Is it too crooked? That might be a little crooked. But yeah, these stickers usually come up fine um, on the Erin Condren um, paper if you get them um, early enough. I just realized, I remember last time I was thinking, oh, I should line these up with the, with the top because then if I 
have to cover that with wash or whatever, like it's covered up anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, hmm. Let's see, maybe I'll do these seeds. Well, I know I was like trying to match for a hot second and that's like quickly gone out the window. Okay, I think I'll do this one on Thursday. Again, this is, I, I don't know why every time it's like rocket science. It's a planner spread. Like, I'm gonna cover it all up with stickers anyway, it will be fine. Um, so let's do, on oh, my labs today, they were just for like, I have to do this like thing at work where we get like kind of a yearly, um, not even really a physical, just like certain things we have to report every year, like our cholesterol, blood pressure, stuff like that, just like for like work insurance. Um, and so it's kind of, but it's kind of interesting to see, like you can do it at the office, but I just like to do it with my like uh, primary care physician's office. Just, I just feel like it's, you know, it's just nice to go in there once in a while anyway, cause I don't, you know, go there a lot. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do headers for now for these that I have. Um, so yeah, I just feel like it's nice sometimes like make an appearance, you know? Um, so yeah, it was really quick this morning, so it was nice, but that's just what, and so then I have another doctor's appointment, um, like this week, and that's to follow up with that, but, um, I think I weigh less than I did a year ago, which is nice, I'll find out for sure when I go see my doctor, so, um, that's, that's always exciting, because I've been, like, I know I've talked about in here, I've been on a weight loss journey, so, it'll be nice to hopefully have a little better report there this year than last year. Other than that, it's been like a little bit of a weird week, like, I don't know, like, um, I had like kind of a bad Etsy experience, but not with a customer, um, cause my customers, I mean, I've had like so few issues with my shop, um, at all. And then like whenever like a customer has an issue, they usually like message me and we talk about it and like, I mean, everyone that I've had so far, we've been able to like work out and they've been happy with the outcome or like kind of felt like I did more than they expected, which is great. Um, but like I said, we haven't had a lot of issues, which is um, good, but also a perk of being a smaller shop. Um, and typically when I've had issues with like other, um, other shops, like they've also been resolved like really quickly and it's been like still like, a, you know, even though there was an issue, like the whole experience made me, you know, usually like them even better because of the way they handled it. Like I know, um, Scribble Prints Co. One day I sent her a message because um, I really wanted to order a kit, but there was a grammatical error. You guys probably remember that when it was like a big thing. Um, and so I was saying like, hey, I'm really interested in this, but um, like there's a grammatical error. And she said, hey, like it's, it's from a direct quote, which is why um, like it was like that. But if I wanted it changed, like she would, she would like print a special one just for me, which is like, I thought it was a huge deal because I mean, it's Scribble Prints Co. She's a huge shop. Um, and like, you know, I'm, I'm no one, like she has no idea, you know, like that I'm a shop owner or that I make videos, which I don't think I did at the time. If I did, it was like right when I first started. Um, and so it wasn't like she was just doing that, you know, because I was someone special, because I'm, I'm not. Um, so yeah, so that's like kind of what I'm used to on Etsy or like people kind of, you know, being really nice and stuff like that. But anyway, I don't want to get into detail because I don't want to like call anybody out. But um, it was just like a weird feeling and it just kind of like left me kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like an icky feeling. I don't know how to explain it. But I mean, you probably know, like you kind of, kind of feel like you've been had or kind of feel like, yeah, kind of feel like something's happened and you just kind of feel icky. You guys probably, probably have all been there. I'm sure everyone has. So we'll go in with meals. Um, so yeah, today, you know, today's Friday. I worked from home. I uh, was like a short work day because I came in a little bit late or logged on a little bit late because I had those labs this morning. Um, and then I found a Starbucks near, near my doctor's office, which is terrible. But um, so I was in a drive-thru, got, got my latte that I always get, my soy latte, iced soy latte. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty good day at work. I mean, we were busy, but it was fine. Um, and this weekend, I am going to my grandparents' house, which I haven't been there since like around Christmas. 
I'm just going for one night, um, partially because like I'm not able to get time off work right now, and also like I don't want to leave Pixie for a long time. Like I'd have to get if I went for more than one night, I'd either have to like take her with me, which I don't know how that would go, um, or I'd have to like find somebody to look in on her, which I don't know who would do that. Um, now I'm going to put in cleaning ones, which I'm going to alternate vacuums and laundry baskets. So, um, so yeah, Pixie's gonna stay by herself for a night, which makes me so sad. She will be absolutely fine, um, cause it won't even, it'll be like just barely over 24 hours that, you know, I'll be, she'll be home alone. So she'll be fine. Um, it's just, I'm just like, you know, she's my baby. Like she's, she's my girl. So I just feel weird about like leaving her and stuff. And I don't know if she's like getting suspicious with, cause I've been, like I was starting to pack and everything. I don't know if she's like getting suspicious yet or if she even knows like what that means. Like she probably, you know, like I take tote bags and stuff places all the time. So she probably doesn't register that like, you know, me putting stuff in this bag equals me going away or else she'd be like upset. But yeah, so we'll see how she does. Um, and by the time you see this, you know, I'll be back and everything. But yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm nervous about it. Um, I don't think I have a lot of TV shows next week. And they changed the night of my Brain Dead show, which so it's like wrong this week. Well, it wasn't even on because of the convention. And then I think they moved it to Sunday, which I guess I could put that down there. But and I'll be back for that for sure. So I don't have any on Monday. Um, any other little things I can do on Monday? No, shouldn't really have a lot. Um, Tuesday, little things? No. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I have a TV show. This is like going to be very few little things this week and she doesn't have a ton of washi either. So makes me a little nervous, but we will, we will pull through. We'll be okay. Um, oh yeah. And I should just put, I guess should I just put a TV show on Sunday or should I put another one too. Maybe I'll put another one, like just these little stars for both of them and then a TV show, just to kind of make it a little bit fuller. Not because I'm like super nervous about, you know, like having white space or something like that, like it's gonna be okay. But um, I don't know, I just kind of feel like it makes it a little bit more balanced. So, okay, little things, headers now. Wait, let's see, so she only has, I have the other two meals for Saturday and Sunday. Um, money ones, which I could mark, is it payday week? It is payday week, I could mark that. Um, like payday for work and payday for Etsy. I don't think I will. I never mark payday for Etsy and I have my payday stickers from my shop for work. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're good for little things. So let's go in with the headers. Yeah. And then, um, while I'm like going through this, this week, kind of planning it out, we'll talk about, um, What's going on this week, which I don't think is, well, yeah, no, I have a few things going on, so. I'm just gonna say I don't think as much, but it is, so. Um, new releases are Friday, which I feel like I've already mentioned three times in this video, but um, yeah, I'm, I am nervous just because I like to be ahead of the game. Like, I, I would like to right now have like all my listings set up, everything like printed, cut, photographed, um, just everything ready to go. So um, I don't. <laughs> I'm still like picking out clip art for things, but um, I mean, everything that's printed and cut, I'm stoked about. Um, and the things I have left, I don't think, like they're not like difficult things. Like they're not gonna be, it's, there's not like a chance they won't get done or whatever, like it'll be, it'll be all good. So um, I'm really looking forward to these new releases because um, I have those new kits and I just, I can't wait to see what you guys think about them. I don't, maybe you guys will all hate them. I don't know, but that's why I'm like interested to see like, or if, if you guys are like, oh, this would be perfect if this, you know, I'm interested to see like your all's feedback on them. Okay, should I go ahead in with washing hat boxes or let me, or should I go day by day? Hmm, maybe yeah, I'll go day by day. I did, did I do that last week? I think I liked it whenever I did that before. Okay, Monday, um, the only thing that I have to do other than my chore, which I've written in like my pre-planning, um, I'll just fold this in half just since we're going day by day now. Um, should I zoom in a little bit? Maybe just a little. I know I always forget and then like show things out of 
out of the shot. I think that's that should be fine. I know it's not super zoomed in, but I don't want to like <laughs> forget because I tend to do that. And then I'm like annoyed at myself while I'm editing. Um, let's see, Monday, the only thing other than my chore that I have to do is um, I have to call the car dealership. Um, which washi should I use? I guess maybe the green one, or should I start with the weekend? Do the washi on the weekend first because there's always the most there. Maybe I will do that, just kidding. We'll come back to Monday and why well, I have to call, call the car place and all that. So you guys will hear my business, but <laughs> whether you want to or not, I'm assuming if you're watching my video that you probably don't, don't mind or want to, I don't know. Okay, so do I have a half box set pattern? I do. So, slide that up. And play it upside down. Um, there is that. And then that's, I'm gonna need another little sliver, aren't I? Yep, I'll do the smallest one. So we won't line up perfectly, but we will all survive. We will get through it. Okay, because those are the days that like need the most washi. There's like a tiny little speck of white space. We, again, we're gonna deal. Um, yeah, I'll just use the big one because yeah, we're good. Um, Monday, I have to call the car dealership because um, I, have I told you guys this story? I feel like I've told you guys about like, I have um, a car with one of the airbag recalls and um, I've had a rental car let me find an icon. Hold on, let me see if I have them in the stack. I'll look through the stack while I'm talking to you. And I have like a million things here, so I'm gonna show you because it's like, you'll be like, oh my God, what's wrong with you? Um, I have a car with one of the like Takata airbags that were recalled and they were like super like dangerous and everything. Like it's really bad. Um, but yeah, I've had a rental car since March and they, because my car is like not safe to drive right now. And I have to go to the rental car place um, once a month. They always give me a date to come back for the next month. Um, and I have to like re-sign like my paperwork and stuff. None of these really match, do they? Do any of these? Maybe like, oh, that one probably matches enough. Or we'll do that. Um, so you have to go like re-sign like the contract once a month um, at the rental car place. And they're so nice at the rental car place. And I know that they're like ready to have their car back and I'm ready to have my car back. Um, so anyway, so I go to the rental car place on Wednesday. So we'll get to that. But um, I just always like to call and kind of like make sure my car dealership knows I'm, I'm still here and still waiting on that airbag, which my car, it's not like at the, um, dealership because we were kind of just worried about leaving it there. So it's at my parents' house because they have room for it. But I mean, I'm sure they're ready to get out of their driveway. I'm ready to get, um, there is not one of those. Uh, do, to do, maybe I'll do that one. Yeah, we'll do that one. That works. Um, my parents, I'm sure, are ready to get out of their driveway. Um, I'm ready to be driving my car. Um, and the rental car people are ready to have theirs back. So everyone's like ready for this to be done, including me. So yeah, uh, Magnolia Boulevard doesn't have any icons in her kit. That's why I'm like pulling in other ones. But, um, so I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, which I should totally use an appointment sticker for, for my shop. Um, or should I just use the half box? Maybe I should just use a half box because that's all I have on my calendar for Tuesday. Again, other than cleaning, because I always put that on there too. Since it's not on a green, can I maybe use a green? Wait, do I even have a doctor sticker on here? I could use a little at for appointment, I guess. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll use a green. Is it gonna look super terrible? We'll live. We'll, be, we'll all survive, so, okay. So for my doctor's appointment, and I'll write, which it's like, it's a nurse practitioner, and usually I have a nurse practitioner I see like as my like primary care physician, but this is a different one because mine's on maternity leave. It's like a substitute NP. Um, okay, so Wednesday, 
Um, I am changing my sheets, washing my sheets, which I was put on my planner when I do that, and going to the um, car place. So washi, um, maybe I'll do the round watermelons. Let's do that. So yeah, again, like, and they, they say like, you have to be back by this date. And like, I wonder how many people forget, but I always put it in my planner. So I always show up there whether they want me to or not, which I mean, obviously they do, but I'm sure they're like sick of seeing me and ready to like have that car back. I think the main thing is the car thing. So I'll try to find a car icon. I've used a lot of them. Yeah, like I've used the car one on here. Um, do I have a green car one? Yeah, I can use the green car one. That'll be fine. And then, um, ooh, there's like, that's not, nah, that's down, we're good. I still have all my stickers, um, like kind of behind my planner, like not really out, but you know, it, I showed you how I keep like that pocket behind my planner. I still have a ton of stickers there from when I um, did my monthly spread video. So I have like a huge stack of stickers. I have like a ton of work at home ones. I use the dark green. I think that will be good. So I always like to put that on the top. Again, like I know Wednesdays are my work at home day and now Fridays, but I just like to have that on there. And I wanted to do a planner cake double dot for um, changing my sheets, for washing my sheets. Okay, that took like a super long time, um, but I pulled out a couple planner cake double dots. I have um, June, just because I thought that coral might look nice. Um, now I'm looking at it, it's a little orangey, isn't it? Uh, but this green I thought was like really in the same family. So maybe I'll just go ahead and do that. And these digitally done um, washing machines. Again, none of them super match. None of them are like a pinky red or anything. Or I guess the green might be the best match. Shoot. Um, maybe I'll just do this light color because it kind of... Or should I try to find maybe like an actual pink? Because I think this is pinker than that. Back to the drawing board. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. These pinks work really well with this. I think that will be a great way to go. So, okay, so let's do, um, I've used like a bunch of those. Let's, let's use, I don't know, let's use this one. Middle pink. Um, again, I'm just gonna come, gonna put it in the middle because even if something else comes up, I'll just put it down at the bottom. We'll be all good. Yeah, we'll do this. It's kind of the same family, I don't know. Oh, but there's another green crap, oh well. We're just gonna, we're just gonna deal. So, um, Wednesday, okay, we have, yeah, that's everything for Wednesday. Um, Thursday, really, oh, I guess I'll just, yeah, flip it back. So Thursday, I'll, the only thing that I had in my calendar for, th or my like pre planning for Thursday is that um, the 28th was when I wanted to decide for sure about my Gwinnie Bee subscription because um, Gwinnie Bee is like a, service where you rent clothing. Um, it's for like sizes 10 and up. So it's like mostly for plus size women. Um, and since I'm losing weight, I thought that would be like a great alternative to buying a new wardrobe every two months. So um, yeah, I, I did like a 30 day free trial and it's over on the 29th. So that's why I put that down in my planner, um, which I've already decided I'm gonna keep on with it because I, I have liked it. And I get a lot of like work shirts, um, with shirts for work, they're not like, you know, shirts to do manual labor in. So yeah, so yeah, it's been, and everyone at work is like, oh, I like that shirt. Is that more than the ones that you're renting? Or is that from that thing? Like, it's been like a, like a, a kind of a cool thing, like kind of a conversation piece. So, um, but yeah, I've, I've really liked it. So I am gonna stick with it. And then Friday, I just went ahead and put that down, but um, Friday, um, let's see, it's payday. Oh, payday. Oh, I'm looking for my work at home stickers, like they're not sitting right here in front of me. Yeah, Friday, the big thing are the new releases. So, and this sheet is actually discontinuing my shop randomly. Um, just, I say that like I have no control over it, but, um, 
this like if something hasn't sold in a certain amount of time which it's like a number of months if like it's been out for um three plus months and it hasn't sold in like you know a set number of a certain amount of time then um, I mark it down and then take it out of my shop just because it means like, cause you know, planning changes all the time and I don't like to have stuff in my shop that um, like isn't selling. I like to like, I don't wanna have like a million things in my shop and like people aren't buying like a handful. So yeah, this is actually discontinuing but the smaller sheet will still be available. So if you want these and you will still get them then if, um, if in you know a certain amount of time uh, that the smaller sheet isn't selling either, then I will look into redesigning. But, or if you guys think I should go ahead and redesign them, like if there's, if you don't like how the paydays are, um, or if you want them multicolored maybe, we can do that. But people just always wanted them in green, so that's why I did that. But yeah, we can absolutely, we can work with it. Okay, maybe should I do something special for new releases? I mean, I should, but like should I put something in my planner for new releases? Let's see. Maybe I'll think of something, I'll think about that because I don't want to just like, you know, find something, slap it down and then, you know, change my mind later because to me it's like, you know, it's a big deal, it's exciting. Um, nothing really on the weekend. I'll go ahead and put the weekend banner down while I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Sorry, like I'm getting tags, my emails are happening, whoops. Oh, is that going to come off? Please do, please come off. Ooh. These, cause these stickers do not like to remove from like other um, pre premium matte stickers. That's not centered, but that's as good as we're gonna get. That looks fine though, we're good. All right, oh, and I even like pulled these out and I forgot to put them down. On um, the 28th is um, milk chocolate day. So since it's Thursday and not much is going down or going down, going on on Thursday, then we'll just put that there. And 30th is Cheesecake Day, um, which I might put at the bottom because I know I always put stuff down on Saturday. So yeah, I'll cover up this little spot that was not gonna lie, bother me a little bit. So, cute. Um, yeah, so that sheet is done. Oh, I almost like forgot about the sidebar. I was like, oh, are we ready to like just, you know, add other stuff to the kit? Other stuff to the, to the spread? Nope. I think I'll just have to like scrounge up one, um, one like, what are they called? Stackable sidebar thing. So, all right, let's do, put down a habit tracker. I don't know, like, I never use those. I never use anything. Well, I used a little bit of the sidebar last week. Oh, okay, I have it this week. I just, it was like the first one I came to and I was like, that actually looks perfect. Um, Cause it's this light green, kind of coordinates with that. So I will do my, um, on my heart checklist, find a header for that. Maybe maybe I'll put goals down for that header. That seems like a like a good one to use. So we will do that maybe. Yeah. Not sure how straight that is, but we're gonna say it's okay. Okay, let's do the bottom part here this week. Obviously it looks like a totally different font and sticker paper and everything, but actually I think it looks fine. I'm cool with it. Um, when I can always do hydration on these, I never do that. Um, I never really even think about it. So where's my last half box is this one. The one thing I use on my sidebar, um, do to do, what will look good with that one? Oh, I have like a ton of this. I'll use this, or should I use, nah, that'll look cuter, yeah. Let's see, I don't know, Ooh, that's gonna be tight, isn't it? I'll put this at the very bottom then. Again, I always do this one first, which is like, like way harder than it should be. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
which you can see none of that washi so it was completely pointless but um it makes me feel better i don't know that's like, that's like the most pointless thing i should have just put down that half box okay now we can like add the other things we want to add we now i'm gonna add um, whatever other um, things I want to put in this spread, like the things I put in every week. Let's, okay. So um, I do want to cover the flags. I think these will work. These are from Scribble Prints Co. Um, I think there's like big flags on here. Yeah, no, those are like gigantic. You can't see that Yeah, Those are like way too big. So um, yeah, they'll for sure be ones that'll work for from her. I think I have what like gingerly done. I have other ones too. Um, what green color matches the best? I'm thinking this green matches well. We'll do that one. I think they cover it. Yeah, like, might be like a little sliver of color co coming out underneath, but that's probably my fault for not putting it down completely straight. And let's see, do we have like a corally pinky one? Oh, there's like a ton, okay. And I'm really feeling this color. It's like a really reddish coral. I think it's a very like watermelony color. Let me let me turn this maybe. That let's make it like easier for me. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. And I just did that because I've been doing that in every spread, so I was like, I would feel weird not putting this on. Okay, let's do a coffee on Thursday. And I pulled out this like super old Scribble Prince Co. sampler. Cause I thought maybe like the peach would go, but now I'm looking at it, it does not match. Let's see, I'm sure, I feel like I just bought some recently. Um, I can't find the ones I'm thinking of, but I, so I use these um, the Alex Studio iced coffees. Um, oh, I'll put one on like a teardrop or something or a flag maybe. Um, yeah, we'll do a flag. Which color do I wanna do? I'm really feeling the like really watermelon color. You know what I should do? I should like put this down first. I never, no, cause no. Cause then it'll stick to the paper and it'll be a thing. So, okay. So flag up here for Thursday. And then a coffee. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy there. I guess I'll just put planning in that box. I'm going to use a planner from my shop, um, which I clearly have not done before. Um, let's see, I love that dark green, let's use that. Okay, you can't hardly tell what that is because it's so dark, but that's cute, I like it. Um, so it's for planning, and then I can write something, I, or I can say like new releases, or I can write it there if I want to. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put down on the weekend yet, and this is already gonna be a lot of editing, so I think I'll leave that for now. Um, but I'll show you what I've used of the kit, which has been um, a lot. So um, this sheet, I clearly, I use all the half boxes, the weekend banner, and one flag. I could still use some of those. Sometimes I do that during the week. Um, again, I always stress about having enough washi, and I had plenty, clearly, on my heart checklist. Use them all. Headers, little things, all that. Used, you know, the normal amount. Um, and used all of the full boxes. So it is nice, even though she has fewer things in her kit, I'd like her to have like some of these little icons and a few just little extras. Um, it is nice to not have a ton of stuff left over um, when I'm done with the kit. Cause you know, sometimes you feel like you have a ton of stuff left and you don't know what to do with it. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks so, like this looks like a July spread to me. And that's really what I wanted to do this week. Um, Cause I have some really nice like kind of yellow and green spreads for August, even though those aren't the colors anymore. Um, I still think of like August, especially I think of it as green because of the birthstone being light green. So think of that as an August color, but also I love that yellow. So I've been like planning on doing like yellow spreads in August for a long time. So I have a ton of spreads that I'm planning on for that. And then after that, we'll get into like fall transitional and then full on fall colors and all that. So this might be the last like super summary spread that I get to do. Um, yeah, I'm, again, I'm still, I'm really happy with um, how this turned out for the last week of July. So, um, and I'm really looking forward to um, next week. I already know what kit I'm gonna use 
for um, the first week of August. So it's not here yet. You know, I know I usually have that kit sitting there, but um, I totally know what kit I'm using this week and it's gonna be a gingerly done kit and it's it's going to fit that week perfectly. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what else you would like to see on my channel and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, bye-bye.